Okay guys, well time for another Ragnarok coming because we are having some definite events. We've got a major snow event happening in Massachusetts and I've got some news footage that I do want to show you because they are saying it's unprecedented. There's also more snow in Boston. However, let's just have a look at the data before we look at all of these events that are happening around Mother Earth. So we have had almost an M flare and three days ago, we missed this on the data here, we had another long duration M flare so expect that's going to play out in the environment. That definitely will play out in the environment because that was a lot of energy being expelled. Now we've also had two more gamma ray bursts. We've had one from Draco which is a very significant constellation aligned with the north side of the Giza Pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza, and also connected to the Tribe of the North, the Tribe of Dan, Tribe of the Serpent, and Draco. And then we have another gamma ray burst from Lyra, which is connected to Hermes connected to divine knowledge, connected to all of the mythology surrounding divine knowledge and the relaying of divine knowledge. The Lyra is a very, very significant symbol. And so this is where we do have to understand that the principle of cause and effect tells us that chance is but a name for a law not recognized. So there is no such thing as chance and we are seeing all of these events occurring and influencing our environment for a reason because we are moving towards Ragnarok. So let's have a look at some of these events that have been happening around the planet and I do want to start with this news report about the event in Massachusetts because they are saying it's unprecedented. I don't know why we can't hear her. Oh, maybe I've got it a sheet metal business collapsed, trapping seven workers until emergency crews were able to dig them out. And this wasn't the only roof collapse reported. The weight of the snow just keeps piling up and it's becoming more and more dangerous. A state of emergency has already been declared in Massachusetts, but even more snow, as we said, is in the forecast. Meanwhile, they are still digging out, trying to plow through what's already there. Rail transit has been shut down. Schools are closed for the second day in a row today. In fact, kids in Boston haven't had a full week of school in three weeks. Nothing about this is normal. Nothing about this is normal. It's only been 14 days, folks, and we've gotten 70 to 80 inches of snow around the Commonwealth. I mean, this is, uh, this is pretty much unprecedented. Let me call it a little bit more difficult. If someone doesn't have their sidewalk uh, dug out, or their uh, stick out yet. I mean, we either have to try to carry them through deep snow, or we can put them on these like plastic type sleds. Now, here's the other problem it's not just about plow plowing the snow and clearing the sidewalks, it's what do you do with the gigantic piles and dump trucks full of snow and ice? Crews have been working around the clock transporting the snow to empty parking lots and other snow melting locations. New Hampshire has already spent $31 million on storm cleanup and snow removal, and that's almost their entire winter budget gone in just a matter of weeks. The good news, there will be a break in the weather today and tomorrow, according to the forecast. The bad news, another storm is expected to hit New England, bringing five to eight inches of snow on Thursday, and then another will hit over the weekend. <laughs> we'll keep you posted. It is just not going to stop. Ragnarok is approaching and we are definitely going to continue to see these events. So we do have more mega snowstorms happening over in Athens, Istanbul, Turkey. We've also had a 6.7 over in Argentina. That's quite a significant earthquake, a 6.7. Now, someone said to me that, oh, I am from this area and this is not a rare event. We have to understand that this is all 
all connected. So in itself, it may not be a rare event, but when we are seeing so much other activity from the volcanoes, we've got these um, other events with major storms and, you know, just what I showed with the record snow. It's just all going to continue to add on top of each other because it's just all cause and effect and it's all playing out in the environment on different levels. And so we are seeing also a very significant earthquake at a 6.7. So yes, even though Argentina may be used to having earthquakes, 6.7 people, time to pay attention, okay? Because these are the signs that the planet gives you, that Mother Earth gives you, that other events may be approaching. And this is the build up to that because this is how it happens. The tide just doesn't automatically become high tide. It has to actually move in. And this is what we're seeing. These events are actually accelerating and becoming more severe. And so we're seeing a ramping up of all extreme activity, including earthquakes. We've got a dust storm over in Cairo. Okay. We've got this article about climate geo geoengineering and they're saying that they're going to try it out and they're going to poison the upper atmosphere. They actually use the words poison the upper atmosphere. This is one of those in your face zombie stuff and see, injecting sulfur pollution high into the air to reflect the sun's heat. So they're going to cover all of these massive record events because now their bullshit climate warming crap is not going to be hidden and so now they're setting it up so that they are going to be engineering colder climate because it's warming and so men are gods and we can actually control our planet's climate. I mean, any human that thinks that, you really are deluded. You are like the little tiny tadpole at the bottom of the pond to not understand the other influences that govern you, seriously. You really need to understand that there are a lot bigger cycles that mankind exists within than they understand and that science are relating in the you know, information that they give the public. It's always very insular and, you know, never really giving people an understanding of how we are governed by larger influences. And so we either move along with them and adapt or they just crush us. So don't be one of the ones that get crushed. Adapt. Recognise. And you do that by observing your environment, deserve, observing all of these different events and seeing the acceleration for yourself. So you've got an understanding of how severe events are, you know, happening and you're preparing because so many people are unprepared for a really severe event that they are just going to be walking around like zombies, scratching their heads and not knowing what the fuck hit them. So don't be one of those people. And I'm not going to be one of those people. So let's just keep observing and connecting our own dots rather than relying on Big Brother telling us what is actually happening because it's them now. Geoengineering. They must be geoengineering the sun too. Geoengineering cycle 24. Are you antichrist? <laughs> no, you're not. Because you don't have full control. So all they have control of is the 
minds of the cattle who will believe this geoengineering bullshit. And so when we do start to see really unusual events, people will definitely start calling different, you know, events as man-made. Harp and all of this geoengineering crap will be blamed. So... Yeah, that is something that we can definitely expect to happen. They're going to definitely start poisoning the atmosphere and making the people, the sheeple, think that that's them trying to save the planet. And meanwhile, they're poisoning the people too, because no doubt they're putting nasties in this stuff. May as well. I mean, they hate mankind. Why not exterminate mankind while they're fucking the planet? And that's why they're poisoning her by injecting her with sulfur. Okay, they're not doing it because they love the atmosphere and the planet. They're doing it because they're trying to just destroy the planet. And yes, they will continue doing this until larger influences just dictate to them their place in everything. But till then... We just have to be aware of what they're doing and know that these changes are from bigger influences and not from insignificant mortal man trying to conquer the universe. Okay, so we've also had a fireball seen speeding across the sky over in Catalonia. And because these things often travel in groups, it's not surprising that one's also been seen over in New Zealand. So it looks like we may be seeing some more activity with incoming objects. So that is pretty much all of the news I have for this Ragnarok Cometh. I will keep you updated on any other significant events. I will post all of these articles underneath and then you can check them out for yourself too as well as the solar data and you can actually then watch this x-ray flux and energy exchange for yourself and start having an understanding for how that influences your environment. Well, I'll leave it there and as always, peace out.